Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React.js Redux Toolkit with Firebase. So today we are going to learn how to create a lead in the Firebase. So you can see that I have created the two leads. So let's see how we are going to create it. So I'm going to go to the add leads. Okay, so I'm going to add just make a name of that one. Test. 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 Test and the test. Okay, I'm going to create the add leads. Okay, test part. Go to the Firebase Cloud Store. So the last one is test test. So here we go with the test test one. I think this one. This is the test. Test 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 test. You can see that, right? One more thing for creating uh, for the cloud cloud uh, Firestore, you need to cl click on the Firestore database, there is an option that is called create Firestore, right? You have to choose the sandbox test mode, click on it, create it. That's it. After that, you need to create the database name that is called the lead data. So I, because you can see that in my code, lead slice, I am using the DB collection dot D data, right? So you need to create the lead data with the respective fields like city comment, this, 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 each everything you need to add the fields after that it will come here otherwise it will not come here right if you want to show me case one let's i'm going to create a new uh, new one fi previous firebase account and show you how to create that one okay uh, i will check i will go to give the phone number if the firebase account is not uh, fire stories account is not there fire store database it's there Okay, so uh, one of the don't have toast don't have I guess belt Firestore database. Okay, so some somehow it looks like this one. Create on the database. Start in test mode. Next, uh, then enable. Okay, after enabling this. So the database is created. Now you can use the start collection. What is your parent path is, is, is make the collection name. That is whatever it is to be like a test or something. You can add the test, right? Go to the next. And if you want to add this auto ID, you can document ID is auto ID. So you need to add the fields like first name here, then uh, which to be the next, next name, last name. So you need to add all of these fields okay and after that you will save that one field so it will take the first first name make it auto id and then you can save this one okay so this will create the first collection with the first name after that you can uh, go with the process with the like uh, how to add the fields with using the firebase right so this is the process of creating the cloud fire store if you're facing any issue in creating the cloud fire store you can just let me know in the comment section right so moving to the next part okay this is my crud fire store so how i'm going to create that fields and save the dab fields in the uh, fire store let's how let's look how to make it right so let's go first step is the components right so let's go to the component component we have a pages right pages and uh, we have the this is a login all screen okay so here we go with the features this the, here we have the redux file add lead edit lead and this one so these are these are all the functions where we are using the how to add the leads and all right and you can see that here it is the form right so in the features it is added there so you can see that right so let's begin with this one so there's a features in the leads then add edit leads are there all the listing of are there here right in the features so this is the comp this is the this is the component part where we have created the tape uh, like uh, you can say the form okay so here we have the let me word wrap this okay so here we have the name 
where we have the contact okay so here we have the contact where we have the city okay then we have the state so all of the fields are there right after all these fields okay there is a submit button right so here we have the return on submit when i click on the on submit button right lead validation for it first it will call the lead validation if you want to add the validations you can use the validations well right so lead validations validations are there so you click on that validations these are the validations it will go to the lead validations so here we have the let dip by default errors are empty if this is has error then it will append this one else if this one so this is the error phenomena that it is running and whatever the errors we have we have returning from this one export default validations so we have already import this validation part here so you can see that validations right so when i submit on the validations right it will check the values and the set errors to the lead validation okay this part right if the lead validation is zero if there is no error then we will process dispatch dispatch means we are going to call the api here create okay which one create lead name lead contact we are getting all the values from here okay you can see that values whatever values or city value or feedback okay by default the values are empty okay after doing that it would navigate to the lead list right so after doing that uh, we have go to the this is a dispatch called the create let's check the create dispatch okay so here we have the lead slices slice in the leads okay so here is the this is called the redux toolkit right so we have a create slice right and first name name one is the leads initial state should be the blank reducers create edit delete okay these are the reducers three reducers then the first one is the create lead db because lead db is our database you can see that lead db is the collection right in the file store okay and here is the add function doc for edit and the doc for this one add action dot payload action dot payload whatever we have sent it over here action dot payload right dispatch the payload this is the payload right whatever the value it contains like uh, name contact city state country and all in the dispatch one okay so you will get all this one and then we will check record is added or not so whatever you want to add the data you need to just part past put into the action dot payload and there is a function that is called the lead db. this is a db name just add the function add and it will add all the data whatever you have in the payload it will add that part right array delete we will discuss in the coming video so this is this how this is basically for creating the lead section in your database store right so this function will help you okay and if you add the validations we have already told that there is a validations part is another form uh, so you can just pass the validation values and uh, you can set the errors if at if, if the values are not there the lead name then you can set the error else there should be no error right so you can add the validations like this okay so there is a so in short we have a add lead okay we have a form then we have a submit button on submit whenever we do the submit button first it will check the validations if the validation passes then we will dispatch okay we will dispatch this one and we will go with the create option of the redux toolkit by default the initial state would be the empty as usual okay and after that this function is called so bypass all the payload and check the data is inserted or not make sure if you have issue in creating the file store database then please let me know okay thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like share and comment on my video and subscribe my channel thank you so much have a great day